Michael, quick turnaround to the next game. Firstly, what's the reaction been like since Saturday? Well, look, you know, I've watched it back and tried to pick some positives out of it. But we know it was a performance that wasn't good enough. Um, but it's done. It's done now. Still hurting. But we, we've got a chance to put it right tomorrow evening. Obviously, as you mentioned, now the dust has started to settle. What have the key points of focus been in training in preparation for Colchester? Look, we're going to go out, out and train now. Uh, but it is getting back to the league now. Um, you know, we, we've got to we've got to respond. Uh, we've got to have a performance that that you know we know we're capable of. And you know, Saturday, like I said, was was unacceptable. Um, but thankfully, there haven't there hasn't been too many of them at all this season so far. How important is that? Obviously, as you mentioned mentality will play a key part in this. So, how important is that as we look to move forward together and respond in adversity? Well, it is. The players got to, you know, they'll be hurting as well. They're hurting. Um, they've got a chance to to put things right now. Um, and if we get a win tomorrow evening against Colchester, you know, then it, it it goes a long way to trying to erase what you know we all we all want to erase from from Saturday. With that in mind, how are the players feeling in terms of injury and recovery? No, you know, we're going to give them. As, as long as possible, you know. Obviously, it's an evening game tomorrow. Travel down, um, you know, do it right. So, yeah, we'll we'll assess that after training today and who's involved and who's not. Just finally, for those fans who are rightfully frustrated on Saturday, what do you say to them as we look to respond together on Tuesday night? No, we're, you know, we're, I'm I'm hundred percent feeling your pain, and um, we'll do all we can to to get us back on track. <laughs>